hello and welcome to this new tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to install the telnet client in microsoft's windows server 2019 by default the telnet client in windows uh, operating systems is disabled but you might need to enable it because it is a very useful tool that can be used for testing uh, tcp connectivity to external hosts on uh, a specified port there are various ways with which you can enable the telnet client for example using the command prompt or uh, powershell commands but in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to enable it using the, the graphical user interface so the first thing you need to do to enable the telnet client is open the server manager as you can see here i have it open already then from the server manager click on add roles and features so let's do that click next on the installation type screen leave role based or feature based installation selected and click next on the server selection screen select the server to install on by default it should be the local server itself and then click next On the server roles screen click next because we are because we are installing a feature rather than a role so don't select anything here on the features screen tick the checkbox next to telnet client so let's find telnet client it should be sorted by uh, in alphabetical order so tick telnet client and then click next on the confirmation screen click install and the installation should begin it's going to take probably a few minutes to install Once the installation succeeds, click the close button and the Telnet client is now installed and ready for use. If you want to verify that the uh, Telnet client is enabled, simply open a command prompt or a PowerShell, PowerShell command. So if you open a command prompt, for example, and type Telnet, telnet you should get something like this Microsoft Telnet so this means that the Telnet client is enabled but before enabling it enabling it if you type Telnet in a command prompt you should get something like command not recognized or something like this by this you have confirmed that Telnet client has been successfully enabled if this doesn't work for you you might need to run the command prompt as an administrator. I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.